Well, as you can see, I'm hard at it again. I just wanted to give you guys an update on what else I found with the engine. Last time we were talking about the protrusions and I was measuring around the fire ring here just to see if there was any kind of variances. But when you get down to brass tacks and I've been using uh, this little scribe that I use to uh, do lathe work, um, yeah, I found the cylinders are, uh, the cylinders themselves aren't in bad shape, but the protrusions are. Now I got about eight thousandths around all of them, except for number five right here. I got eight thousandths on one side. And well, I'll bring you in a little closer to see which, what we got over there. So when they talk about the protrusions, they're talking about this little bit of a lip right across here. Let me zoom back out. Right around here where the cylinder comes out of the block. And you can see, like on this cylinder here, you can kind of hear it. Right here, you can almost hear nothing. So what I've done is, I take my little gauge here, and, uh, well, it... All right, let me see if I can do this like this. So, basically, you bring your gauge close to here you want to reset it so it zeroes out and then you measure right over the lip and you can see we're at eight thousandths on that lip right there I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can eight thousandths seven and a half thousandths and then you do that in several locations this side that we're looking at right now is the intake side so we could do the same thing on all the cylinders, but I'm just giving you a basic rundown because this is really hard to film. But if you have any variation, and especially on the exhaust side over here, uh, that means your liner's dropped. And there's, you know, a ledge, they call it fretting, there's a ledge there that as these things start to wear out, they wear down, and if they wear uneven, then, uh, you're going to have cylinder head gasket problems and whatnot. So uh, that's definitely the case with this one over here on number five. These are down to four thousandths on this side. So these are junk. All right. So as you can see, I went ahead and pulled out the number one cylinder liner here. And the reason why I went ahead and pulled that one out first was it was probably the more difficult one to get to. So I went ahead and pulled that one out. Now you got to be able to figure out which liner. I don't know why Cummins has no idea which liners they put in here, but it could be one of two, 150 millimeter or 152 millimeter, and this is how you find out. All right, so one of the ways you could do this is if you got access to big mics like I do, you can go ahead and mic this section here, and then you take your reading, and then you find out what size you have. But there's an easier way. Um, if you've got 152s, you're going to have this green or bluish indicator mark on the gasket itself. Now, since we're talking about this right here, this was something else I was worried about. Even, you know, with the way it overheated, even if the liner protrusion was right, I still worried about these O-rings maybe have gotten fried inside that block when that happened, and you could kind of see how kind of chewed up they they were inside of there. I don't know if they would have leaked or not, but why take a chance when you're putting that much money into an engine? So anyway, we got all that stuff uh, figured out. We know what size liners we need, and um, you know, we'll get her done. All right, YouTube, so there you have it. I've got to do a full in frame on this truck. So I've been out and scouring the internet trying to find parts, a good parts supplier, and for my engine rebuild, and looking through all the websites, and you know there's a sea of them. One really stood out in my mind. It's ATL Diesel. They've got an interactive website that you can click on whatever you know engine manufacturer that you have, and it'll sort you out just to the parts that they sell. Now they sell a full line of 
um, engine rebuilding parts, as well as they've got a full in-house machine shop, and uh, they've got a knowledgeable, courteous staff. And you just, just go check out their website. It's atldiesel.com. So in the next video, we're gonna be getting a bunch of parts. It's gonna be like Christmas around here again. And uh, we're looking forward to doing an unboxing of uh, some of the parts, and I'm not gonna tell you what all I'm getting just yet. You'll have to wait till the next video. In the meantime, like I said, go check out ATL Diesel, and see you soon.